Cheers. You hear that? If we're not having fun, we're not doing it right. All the paperwork and information, make sure that's all in there. And this beautiful guitar. And, uh, what I like to do is take this paper, slide it in here like this. I like to cover up all the frets. The remaining paper, I like to nicely just go around the headstock. Because what I'm going to do now is we are going to put some packaging in and around the headstock. Because you need to actually protect the headstock while it is in the case. We get the packaging done on the inside of the case so that nothing is moving in the case. Good solid pack. And then what I like to do is take a bag. I happen to have these trash bags that work fine for humidity reasons. Changes in temperature. Try to bag it up, especially in the winter months. Now once we're tied off, ready for the box. What I like to do is take a little bit of packaging here. Make sure that our we got decent enough packaging on the bottom. Shove that down in the box and then we can take our guitar. I'm going to slide this bubble wrap here on either side of the guitar. Now that we've got the front and back packaged up, we'll then of course take and start packaging all down the sides of the box here. I like to really tape the snot out of the boxes. You never know. Time to measure. I got 18.5 wide, 6.25 deep, and our length, 44.50. Next, I like to use my trusty baby scale. This is what I've used for all these years on reverb. So let's see what the weight is. 22.63. And then next, it's just a matter of logging into uh, Reverb PayPal or whatever you use and type in for the shipping information. All right. Hope you dug this. Please like, subscribe, and bell yo. Cheers. <laughs>